Hey guys, so today I'm really excited because I recently watched a video from The Gabby Show and she did a full face using only products from the 99 cent store, but we don't have like a 99 cent store, so I went to the Dollar Tree and so today I'm going to do a full face using only makeup that I got from the Dollar Tree, so I'm really, really excited about this one. I stocked up on makeup and I'm going to do my entire face using only products that I got from the store. I'm kind of nervous because I have never tried Dollar Tree makeup and I'm not sure how the quality is going to be, but I'm pretty excited to see and see if this is actually any good. And so you can see if it's something that you would be interested in buying. But if not, I think that's still a really cool video to do. So I would love to see you do this as well. And let me know if you do this challenge because I would love to watch your video and see what looks you come up with makeup from only the dollar store or 99 cent store or whatever. So anyways, guys, if you are new, hi, my name is Lindsay and I will put a link right over here, one of these two places so that you can just click it and subscribe. And also, if you enjoy watching these type of videos, please give it a big thumbs up so I can keep doing them. All right, guys, let's get started. So since I haven't actually tested out the eyeshadows and I'm not sure what the fallout's gonna be like, I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyes first. And I did actually find some Wet n Wild brushes, some eyeshadow brushes there. And here we go. And I've been looking for these everywhere and they're at my Dollar Tree, so I'm pretty excited. And I got the crease brush the large eyeshadow brush and the angled liner brush so if you've been looking for these brushes try your Dollar Tree they may have them okay so to prime my eyes and to set it I'm gonna use this elf smudge pot and this is an ink that sweet and I'm hoping this is similar to like the Mac paint pot but honestly I have no clue but I'm gonna test it and see if it is okay, I'm just digging in with my fingernail and putting it on my eye I and we're gonna see if it works. So this actually looks really <laughs> shimmery and is not at all what I expected it to be. But I'm just gonna go with it. Okay, to set it, I'm gonna use this Color Mates pressed powder, and this is in rose beige. So it looks just like a looks like it's my color. I hope it is. We'll see. And it's got a little baby mirror in it. So I'm going to set that with this powder. For eyeshadow, I got the LA Colors eyeshadow palette, I guess, and this is traditional, but here it is. It's got some really pretty colors in it, and so I got the most neutral palette that I could find there, and I think this is a really pretty palette with some nice neutral colors, and it looks all matte, so that's what I'm going to use for my eyeshadow. I'm gonna go in with this color right here for my transition color. So the next shade I'm gonna go in is this one right here. Now, as for pigmentation, I'm not really getting a lot. Maybe had I used a better eyeshadow primer, it's possible that it would be better. Seriously, <laughs> I'm not seeing the pigmentation. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with this reddish color right here. I'm hoping we get better results. <laughs> Doesn't seem like it. Ah! Give me a better color! Yikes. Shadow suck it! Get on my eyeball! Okay, I'm gonna go in with the darkest color here. And <laughs> pray for the best on this one. Oh look, we got some color! We got some color, y'all! Not a lot, not a lot, but it's there. Mm. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the white here for the eyebrow, eyebrow, the eyebrow bone. And, whoa, okay, the white's pigmented. Hello, white. Berm. Yeah, boy. Golly, that's like, whoa, hey. And the inner corners. Okay, the white is super pigmented and they got that right. If I ever reach for this palette again, it's only for the white in it, honestly. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get started with my base. 
Ugh. And I'm using Sassy Chick Makeup Foundation. There it is. The color I got is medium one. It says to apply it with fingertips, so I'm glad I didn't buy a brush. This is so thick. Oh, I, I don't know if it's my color. Probably not. Oh my god, this is like, whoa, this is really thick. Coverage is great though. Hello. I can feel my pores clogging right now. Okay, so that was surprisingly good. The smell of it is not good. I almost want to say it smells like Play-Doh, but I don't know. Now I'm going to go back in with the powder, and I know I didn't get this brush at the Dollar Tree, but if I really want to try with this makeup look, I'm going to have to use brush, and it is e.l.f., so it's like $3, not expensive at all, so it's just a powder brush. I'm going to set my face. Okay, so for bronzer, I got this LA Color Bronzer, and it says it's technically a blush, but yeah, it says single blush, but looks like a bronzer to me, and so I'm going to be using this for my bronzer in the same e.l.f. brush. Now for blush, I'm going to use this LA Colors, and this is pink blush, and it's very pale, <laughs> not sure about it. Yeah, like, not showing it. At all. Probably should have gotten a darker shade, but cheek. So, not bad. So, for highlights, I didn't really get a highlight, so I'm gonna try that e.l.f. smudge pot on my cheeks. I don't know if this is a good idea or not. We're gonna see. it's not really dramatic or anything but it does give you a little bit of a glow so cool so now I'm gonna do my eyebrows for that I got the color mates eyebrow and eyeliner pencil in black brown okay they both say eyeliner pencils I guess they're the exact same thing and you get two for one oh it's really 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 dark Okay, so clearly they're not great, but they're they're doable. I can handle it. Okay, so to line my lids, I'm going to take the LA Color Liquid Eyeliner, and this is not named. Anyways, this is what it looks like. And I'm just going to take that and line my eyes. Okay, and to do my waterline, I'm going to use that same eyebrow eyeliner pencil. You would think as pigmented as it is on the brows, it would do the same on the, on the waterline, but that is not the case, folks. Not the case at all. So I really want to smoke out my bottom lash line, so I think I'm going to take the same brown and go under my lash line and then just smoke it out. So I'm not happy with the eyeliner on top and I'm gonna go back in hopefully make it better. So I did pick up some lashes from Color Mates in bold and it doesn't come with glue or does it? It does. Having difficulties opening the lash glue. Alright we're just gonna use my duo lash glue because that glue I cannot get open. Okay so while I wait for those to set I'm gonna use this little baby Mascara from LA Colors. I'm just not that impressed with Dollar Tree makeup. And my tweezers, so I, I have to use tweezers, sorry. Holy crap, do you see these lashes? Like, look at those guys. Whoa, drama! Okay. They're a little difficult to get on, and I definitely feel them on my eyes. But I like them a lot. Oh. Okay, so to finish this off, I got this lipstick from Color Mates, and it is in the shade Ginger Spice, and I think it's a really pretty color. And it comes with a clear lip liner. I've never tried a clear lip liner, so we'll see. So this is a really pretty color. I'm actually liking it a lot. 
It's like a orangey brown. So yeah, here is the finished look. I think actually for makeup from the Dollar Tree and everything I bought that was a dollar, I think this has actually turned out really, really nice. And the eyeshadow, I mean, it wasn't the best pigmented and I don't recommend it really, but it did a decent job. I mean, I think it looks good and especially love the lashes. Like if you like high glamour, these puppies are it. Everything else, yeah, I like the foundation, the bronzer was great, the blush. I would pass on the blush because it just doesn't really show up on the skin. But other than that, I think this turned out really, really nice and I'm happy to show you. So anyway, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more videos like this, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not yet subscribed, please subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye guys.